Also, this is something that happens in the academy far too often, which is we have too many people, we need to you know, get rid of population. I'm going to make a prediction that's the opposite. In 30 years, we're going to see declining population like you've never seen before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm checking out Charles Kirk Drops Mic. Answering popular leftist question. Guys, let's get straight into this. So I'm in a crisis communication class at my college, and we were asked to come up with solutions for like the population control and whether, you know, we want to feed more people or whatever. Well, one of my peers said that the solution should be that the U.S. should pay about three million dollars a year for contraceptives, for the world's contraceptives. My question is, how do we get the average student to realize that that money doesn't just come from the government? It's not magic. It's So I'll do you, you know, one better. Taxpayer. So the, the, the premise of your class is that we have too many people. And we don't have a, we, yeah, I, I reject the premise. We, we, we need more, we need more children, not less yes. children. Uh, our country's on the verge of a population collapse. Yeah. And so here, here's one piece of advice I'll give you for everyone in the room. Um, as soon as you're talking about how we're going to pay for something, we've already lost the debate. First, you should say, why should we pay for that nonsense at all? And by the way, we shouldn't fund contraceptive. We shouldn't fund any of that garbage. But back to what you're saying. So this is, this is basically you're being taught earth worship. Okay. And that's, that's what's being taught in most schools, which is somehow we must put the earth above the well-being of human beings. Remember, we have a pro-human agenda, right? Now, we shouldn't abuse the earth. We shouldn't pollute the rivers or the lakes. But always we should have a belief in human supremacy. I know that's like a weird thing to say. But that's basically where this conversation goes right now. I believe human beings are image bearers. You're made in the image of God. Every life is a gift. should be preserved and protected. We have a million abortions a year every single year. And I believe if you can't get that issue right, then look at all the other issues you screw up beyond that. But also, this is something that happens in the academy far too often, which is we have too many people, we need to you know, get rid of population. I'm going to make a prediction that's the opposite. In 30 years, we're going to see declining population like you've never seen before. We're already seeing it here in America. So in the last year, you have a lot of people at home, people spending time locked down. You'd say, oh, birth rate's going to go up to dramatic decrease like we've never seen before. Why? Half economic, right? It's expensive to have kids. People say, I'll have one of each, like they're picking out a Toyota or something, right? <laughs> the other is that if you don't believe that children are necessary to be fruitful and multiply, to replicate your values and replicate yourself, why have children? So if you don't teach people that having children is necessary, and those of us that believe in the Bible, we, we have an answer for that. It's like the second chapter of the Bible, be fruitful and multiply, it might be the third. Anyway, the point is that it's right there. <laughs> then why have children? If you, if you actually believe that climate change is an existential threat, which is complete gibberish, nonsense, and balderdash, and all of you guys should be unafraid to push back against, against all that garbage, because it's designed for one thing, power and control. And let me just tell you something that is a general rule. If your biggest worry in life is existential, you live a great life. If your biggest worry is the sky falling and not sanitation, nutrition, getting murdered on the way home or being beaten, you live a very nice life. You do. <laughs> this climate change nonsense can only happen in a rich, generally peaceful society. Yeah. This doesn't, you think that the people in the slums of India who have to worry, the 300 million that don't have access every single day to functioning toilets, you think that they're worried about the sky falling? Whoa. Or maybe that they want a coal, pow a coal fire power plant to be able to have a hospital or a school. And so I guess the final point I'll make on this, which is so important, is reject the premise. The premise of that whole thing is that more people, population increasing, much reduced people. I don't agree with that at all whatsoever. I think that we should have, we have a commandment to be fruitful and multiply. I do not believe even close that human population is what is destroying the entire earth. And even beyond that, I think that if people, if that's their biggest concern, just it's nice to lightly remind them that you live a great life. Maybe you should worry about improving yourself, not destroying the world around you. Thank you. It's good. Do you think America is overpopulated or underpopulated? For me, I would say Americans are underpopulated. Let me give my reasons. Like, based on Americans, like, not the immigrants and stuff. Like, I mean, Americans, Americans. Yes. Let me give my reasons. In fact, that 
let's say 30, 40 years from now, people want to give birth to like five, four children, six. Now, everyone will give birth to two at most. Two, like, even people who give birth to children don't really take care of them, and now they don't want to give birth to children in the sense that they don't want to feel that kind of. They want to feel that kind of guilt that I'm unable to take care of my child. They understand the pain they felt when they were a child. In the sense that their parents are not there, their parents are just pushing their career. And so people just don't want to give birth. And now with people being gay and stuff like that, I understand that people are going to adopt, which is totally fine and, and amazing. It's an amazing thing to people that adopt children. People not bringing children into this world is actually going to spoil the economy. Like, there, there, there are going to be lots of supply soon. And there won't be enough demand for it. Even if I know that would take a long time, but like, it's still gonna happen. But guys, tell me to come out with this. Like, give your honest opinion about this topic. Guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.